what kind of a low level vindictive nature do leader do, do leaders at times demonstrate so when your leaders polarize what do you expect people when leaders talk the language of anti national tukde tukde shamshan ghat kabristan fir janta kya karegi between us versus them this polarization to my mind is one of the biggest challenges that democracy faces today like it or not there is a vindictive government at one level in power in this country the election commissioner lavasa i mean you he's gone through all his crs he's become election commission he puts one dissent note the income tax lands at the door of his sister who's been an army doctor all her life atish tasir writes one time magazine cover suddenly he's denied his oci citizenship i mean what kind of a what kind of a low level vindictive nature do leader do leaders at times demonstrate so when your leaders polarize what do you expect people when leaders talk the language of anti national tukde tukde shamshan ghat kabristan fir janta kya karegi to media is also polarized the media the media is a the right hear him out hear right. him out the media is polarized newsrooms mirror what is happening in society and frankly i don't want to either demonize mr modi or defy and that's why i am called a balancer i don't agree with those who demonize mr modi i don't think that serves any purpose and i cannot understand this bhakti of one individual you know bhakti is the great ambedkar since we are talking of constitution and republic day he said hero worship is the worst thing it destroys the devotee and it destroys democracy it is dangerous and that's what's happening because hero worship the moment i criticize today namita anyone i am called anti national you are, you know this language of anti national you have now monopolized nationalism to the point where if sachin pilot criticizes the government you know he will be told are tum to pakistan ki bhasha bol rahe ho i don't understand never before in an indian election or indian public life is pakistan being used so often we thought it was a failed state why are we mimicking a Rajdeep, failed state and that's Rajdeep, the polarizing the labeling comes from both sides it comes from the liberal side and you you will remember uh, ramchandra guha recently made some statements about rahul gandhi in uh, kerala in the kerala literature festival these were then taken out of context and everybody said are look at him he's questioning uh, this so we are on all sides we're rushing to label it's there, not happening there, from one side there is competitive intolerance there is competitive intolerance that's what i said we are not willing to talk to each other we talk at each other and okay. once you start talking at each other then where is the space for dialogue this country's greatest contribution namita is the notion of samvad this is the country of samvad i must be able to talk to you you must be able to talk to me the great gokhale ranade agarkar tilak from my state of maharashtra would have fierce debates against uh, with each other kisi ne kisi ko anti national kabhi nahi bola ye 5 saal ki ab parampara ho gayi hai tumhe mujhe meri baat achhi nahi hai you are anti national that's where the worry comes from okay. you're right politics is getting into a very very polarized atmosphere and then journalism becomes even more difficult to practice in this polarized newsroom atmosphere godi media versus what is it called on the other side secular liptard press secular liptard kitne naam call it whatever you <laughs> kya okay urban naksal urban naksal ye to bada acha naya term hai urban naksal yes chaliye well, i i do want to keep some time for audience question but i i ha i have a last question for sachin before i open this up and sachin we're talking about this you know we've come to this very sorry situation in a very short while you know this 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 intolerance this inability to listen to each other uh, it's never happened in my memory is there a way that we can reclaim that lost space you know i am not as pessimist as uh, rajdeep is you know there is a phase in every country's destiny there are governments there are leaders good and bad but our country our populace our our history our tradition our culture our democracy i think is fairly strong to withstand almost any disruptions you know rajdeep mentioned about the emergency that did happen and people of india punished indira gandhi ji for what they thought was wrong and they elected her in 1980 you learn from experiences i think the current phase is not for all times to come but there has to be checks and balances there has to be course correction and we the people of india like our constitution says we the people of india are more responsible than just one individual or one government so we've got to make that ecosystem amiable flexible 
take the right path, 21st century belongs to this country, but we must be able to contribute positively, become stakeholders, not by shunning its away, not by finger pointing, by name calling, by criticizing, by acrimony, by fighting, by venom, by criticism. That's not the positive way. Young people have so much to contribute. I think the political landscape will not remain what we see today forever. But we've got to be able to move forward and effect and bring about that change. It's going to happen. I really am quite positive. You know, it's when you see the newspapers, you see election results, you see this and that, and I hear all this on television. I don't get demotivated. I really think we have a great future, but we've got to be positive and keep checking people who should be made accountable. Once you keep doing that, we'll find the right way forward. If you've enjoyed the conversation that you just heard, do subscribe to our channel for much more.